Changing the subject of the formula part one. We're going to be transposing a basic formula to the required variable. So what do we mean by transposition? Simply put, transposition is to change the subject of a formula by rearranging the formula using the rules of algebra. For example, let's take a sphere, a ball, and the formula for the volume of the ball is v equals 4 over 3 pi r squared. Here we call v the subject of the formula because the right hand side of the expression gives us the expression for the volume. So v is the subject of this formula. However, if we were interested in r, the radius, then r would be the new subject and so therefore we would have to change the subject of this formula to give us an expression for r. So let's have a go of doing that. So first of all, what we want is r on the left hand side, so we'll highlight r. And because we want r equals an expression, I'll flip these about the equal sign, so I've got the r on the left hand side. We've got 4 over 3 pi r squared is equal to v. So first of all, we can remove the 4 over 3 fraction from the left hand side. We can do this by multiplying both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction. So the reciprocal of this fraction is 3 over 4 because now when we cross multiply these cancel out. And so we're left with pi r squared is equal to 3 over 4 v or 3v over 4, and we've just put the v into the numerator. Now we can divide both sides by pi to remove pi from the left hand term. Now these cancel out. And we're left with r squared is equal to 3v over 4 pi on the right hand side. It's r squared, so to remove the square term and just to have r on its own, we can take the square root of both sides. Because now the square root of a square, we're just left with the r. And so r is equal to the square root of 3v over 4 pi. Let's have another example. We're asked to change the subject of the formula to x for y is equal to 6x plus 2 all over 3. Because we want x, we can move the right hand, to, right hand side over to the left hand side. So we're flipping it about the equal sign. And now we can see that we've got 6x plus 2 all over 3. So what we can do is multiply by 3. We're multiplying both sides by 3. Now these 3's cancel out. And we're left with 6x plus 2 is equal to 3 times y. Now we can subtract 2 from both sides, as these 2's cancel out, and so 6x is equal to 3y minus 2, and finally, this is 6x, we want 1x, so we can divide both sides by 6. Now these 6's cancel out, and we're left with x is equal to 3y minus 2 all over 6. And that's how we change the subject of the formula.